everyone, it's Laura, our tiny treats here and today I've got a charm update for you guys. It's going to be a really big one because I've been making charms for the past two months but I haven't been able to show you because I've been ill and obviously because of university um, it's been making me really busy. So I'll get right into this charm update before it carries on too long. So first thing that I have to show you are these cute ice creams and we have a vanilla chop chip one, a strawberry flavoured one with strawberry sauce and this bubblegum one with like little rainbow sprinkles which I think looks so nice. I love the rainbow sprinkles on those. So there's them. Next I have these cute little heart macarons and I glazed these with my UV resin and you, as you can see it's made them like super shiny and also it's really brought out the glitter in the clay like it looks so nice and yeah this is my new style of face um, that I'm making on all my charms now um, I think this look way cuter than the last ones that I was doing so yeah I hope you like them <laughs> but yeah I love these I love how the colours have turned out so next I have this cute little bear cupcake and I think I made this like when I first began clay like well not this particular one but I made this style of cupcake like ages ago and I decided to remake him and he's so cute <laughs> I love how I remade him with the little pastel sprinkles on top and his cute little face he's so cute next I have these kawaii drinks and again I glaze these with UV resin so super shiny and they have ice, ice, icicles they have ice cubes on top so I have a cherry one a lemonade and a Fanta I guess <laughs> or fizzy orange I should say <laughs> so yeah there's those next I have this Haribo ring um, sweet necklace charm and I made this from by using a mould called Ayumaru, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's like a moulding compound and basically you can put the sticks of mould compound in water, hot water, and leave it to sit for about five minutes and then it becomes mouldable. And it's so good how, and it's really cheap actually, it's way cheaper than like the other mould compounds that I've seen. So I thought I'd try it. and. Maybe I'll do a demonstration video on it, like, in the future. But yeah, this is what I made out of a Haribo ring. <laughs> so next I have these cute little Easter eggs. And again, these are coated with UV resin. And they just look so cute. So shiny. And I love the colours on these as well. I think this one, this one was the first one that I made and this one was the second one. And yeah, I seem to have swelled the colours more in this one than this one, but I still think they're really cute. So then next I have these milkshakes and we have a strawberry uh, cream sort of milkshake. And we have a chocolate milkshake and then we just have another chocolate milkshake, but this is like swirled on the bottom. So yeah, there's those. Next I have the, the cinnamon roll. I actually made uh, two more of these. Um, I just haven't, I just thought for time's sake I'll just show one. Um, so yeah, there's them. I also made these new style of pizzas that I've been making. So I have a margarita pizza and a pepperoni pizza. So yeah, these are my new pizzas and I've made them a little bit thicker and all the slices in the set of this the style of pizzas are the same size or I've tried to make them the same size and yeah I am so happy with how they turned out. Um, yeah. Again I made way more than those one slices like I just decided to show you only one of each for time's sake again and then here are some cute tacos. <laughs> I have only eaten a taco once and they're really messy but yeah I love how these turned out. These are just meat filled tacos with cheese and a tomato chopped up on top and some lettuce and I love how these came out. Next I have this really simple Jaffa cake. <laughs> um, I might try and make it again because I'm not entirely happy with how it came out but I still think it looks really good and yeah so that's that. 
Next I have this cute little cupcake that I made and I think you can see a video of me making this on my Instagram. So if you want to check that out I'll put a link in the description box below and on screen now. So yeah, so there's this, it's just a little cupcake with a tiny little purple flower dusted with like pearlix powder. It's got a lilac base and I kind of made this for spring because it's kind of spring themed. Next I have these scones or scones as my boyfriend will tell me off for saying scone. Um, so yeah, it's just a scone with cream and jam and yeah, I made two of these. Next I have this candy floss themed cupcake and it's got a pink and blue swirly bottom which I love, I love how that swirl came out. And this was leftover like this was made from leftover clay from my candy floss tiny corn and I'll put a picture on the screen now like here. Um, so you know what I'm talking about. That's also one of the charms that I also made but I sold it before I could um, show it in the video. So, so yeah, there's that. Uh, next I have this chocolate orange cupcake. It's just got a really small orange slice on top there and the base is sort of orange and brown swirly base and it's got orange icing and I love this. <laughs> Next I have this donut and I could have made this a little bit better, it came out a bit chunky but I still kind of love it. Um, and it's got sort of like rainbow coloured um, sprinkles on top. Um, I just wish I had another blue at the time. I think I ran out of blue clay and I just made like pale blue didn't really work out that well but yeah so there's this cute donut next I have this stack of pancakes which is what inspired me to make the heart pancake tutorial which I will link here if you're interested um, and yeah so we've got a little knob of butter and some two little strawberries and some little blueberries and some melted butter going down the side there Next I have this um, <clears throat> purple ombre cake and again I made quite a few more slices of this. Um, so yeah it's got like multicoloured purple sprinkles on top um, to match the um, cake bits and the cake layers inside and I'm so happy with how this turned out. This is sort of like I might make a pink one and a blue one at some point. That. I also have these hot dogs. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it's got ketchup and mustard on top and I am super happy with how these came out. I made hot dogs in the past and I don't think they turned out that well but these have turned out super nice. I tried to make them the same size as well so that you can kind of give one to your friend or something. Maybe. Or just keep them both for yourself. <laughs> So next I also made this um, fizzy bubblegum bottles and again I used my own mould using the Ayumaru. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that too. But yeah, so there's these and they're coated in fake sugar which I got from Miniature Sweet and I'll put a link in the description box below to her shop uh, and website. <coughs> and yeah, so these are pink and blue ombre gradient and yeah these are like one of my favourite sweets <laughs> from when I was like a kid. Um, I used to love these. So yeah, there's those. Next I have these chocolates and so I have an orange filled orange cream chocolate. Then I have this chocolate, double chocolate truffle chocolate, <laughs> if that makes sense. And it's just like chocolate, like milk chocolate filled with dark chocolate on the outside. And then this is a raspberry cream um, chocolate. This is like a milk chocolate one, and then this is a white chocolate version with sort of like little nooks on top. So I I love making chocolates, and I'll probably make some more of those at some point. Next, I have these two pieces of toast with beans on, beans on toast. Um, I coated these with resin and I kind of regret coating the um, toast itself with resin but I still think it will add a bit of durability to the toast 
slice so it doesn't break as easy um, or doesn't break at all really um, so yeah there's some little beans on top and I just kind of like how the beans turned out um, so yeah there's those next I have these two chocolate eclairs and these are just really simple and they're just cream filled um, I, again I made these like a, a long time ago um, it first, well first made a chocolate, chocolate eclair like ages ago but I didn't like how it turned out like the shading was really weird and it was really really dusty but these are so nice and I coated the chocolate part with UV resin so it's like super shiny next I have these really cute carrots and you've probably seen these on my Instagram if you follow me on there um, so yeah there's these and I made three of them and they're a lot um, more like improved on my last carrot that I made <laughs> um, I feel like the stalk, the leafy bits are actually so cute oh, so cute, <laughs> I'm so happy with these uh, so yeah I made three and I coated these bits with resin so that they're not so they're a bit more durable and they won't break as easy because those are kind of like the weak parts I suppose so there's them and I think they're so adorable I just want to keep them all <laughs> so next I have these this rainbow waffle um, I actually made more of these again um, <clears throat> so yeah there's just like a rainbow waffle with rainbow sprinkles on and icing um, I made this from the leftover clay from the other things I'm about to show you now so yeah that. So I also made these oops, these rainbow popsicles. So I have a red one, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple and pink um, ice pop ice ice lollies or oh, popsicles. And uh, so there's the pink one and there's a the red one. And I just I'm so happy with how these turned out and I love the pictures of these. <laughs> like I keep looking at them because I really love colourful things so Yep, there's them. Oh, and I coated those with UV resin as well to make them extra strong. Um, next I have these really cute star cookies and some have kawaii faces and some don't, but they're all the same. Like, there's two of each colour but one has a kawaii face and one doesn't. So there's like a white and chocolate one and there's like a reverse one. This one was really hard to see the face on. <laughs> There is a face on there, I don't know if you can see it, <laughs> it's just really tiny. Um, and I love this one, this one's face is probably the best. <laughs> but yeah, I really like these. So yeah, there's three plain and three, oops, three plain and three with kawaii faces on. And then next I have these two donuts. So I have a rainbow sprinkle donut, uh, one with white icing and one with pink icing. And I made another one of each of these, so there's two of each colour and I am so happy with how these came out. I love the colours. I love the colourful things on these. But yeah, so there's them. And then there is this all there's another waffle charm and this one has chocolate um sauce on and a little strawberry slice. And I love how that came out as well. And then lastly out of the food related items is I have these macarons and I haven't made a macaron in so long so it took me a while to get used to making them again but I made these in rainbow colours and they should essentially be all the same size like same depth and everything uh, so they're just macarons filled with like a vanilla cream and buttercream I should say and so yeah there's or red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple and pink again same with the same as the popsicles but yeah so these are and I just love the colours ah, I love this pink colour that I have um, I recently picked that up and I'm so happy with it it's by Sculpey and it's really pretty so that's it for this channel update I hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and hit that red button down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!